Good morning, little lady. Look, it's the thing from the cat house and it's destroyed. I was just ripping it apart. It didn't look quite this bad. Um, but because last time I replaced it, a bunch of you were like, just replace the, the, I keep wanting to call it thistle. <laughs> it's not thistle. Whatever this is called, it's called sisal. <laughs> is it called sisal? S-I-S-I-S-I-S-A-L? Sisal bowl? I don't know. But I bought this online. It's only 33 feet and I'm starting to think like there are three of these that are destroyed on the cat house upstairs. I'm starting to think I might need more than that so I should have opted for the bigger one. But anyway, that's gonna be a little DIY for later. I'm gonna hot glue some fresh ones on there. Scoops. Coco joined us. Got up a little bit early so that, not even early, it's like eight o'clock. I got up, I got up like an hour ago so that I can make crepes. So I'm gonna make crepes for breakfast. Crepes, <laughs> three bananas because <laughs> monkeys never crops. Yeah, I'm gonna make crepes because we have a lot of the jelly jam situation. I've been making a lot of it. I have been using pectin now. Um, and then I just made a bunch yesterday out of what we got at the farmer's market because it was going moldy the next day. It was moldy. And I was like, bruh. In this economy, these prices, and it's going, it was moldy within 24 hours? Like, that's crazy. So I'm just gonna blame that on me being a bad picker. I'll take the fault there. I made some jam out of that. So anyway, we have just jam coming out of our ears right now. So I'm gonna make some crepes so the kids can eat them on crepes. That's also a recipe out of the Magnolia book. I mean, really crepes are just thin pancakes, right? At the end of the day, whip some of those up and then Nala has camp today. I signed her up for a, uh-uh. I yell at the kids every day for doing that. Not yell at them, but you know, I don't yell at them very often. So, uh, uh, let me say it this way. I yell at them so infrequently that they can remember being yelled at. However, they think that me telling them, what are you doing? Just put the drapes up. Like, why Why are you turning the light on eight o'clock in the morning? They think that's yellow. So this is my regular degular starter and she is just going to town, just bubbly bubbly. A bunch of you were like, your lid's too tight. You're right. And I had discovered that prior to me actually posting that um, latest vlog. It was too tight, so <laughs> this is the sourdough starter I'm gonna use today. Thankfully, it did not bu bubble over it. I've had it bubble over before, but that's gonna be my first time using it, and the recipe calls for whole rye flour, and I'm like, whole rye flour? What is that? I've never even heard of that. So when Nala goes to camp today, we're going to pop into a grocery store and hopefully find that. But I'm gonna start my day with the coffee, which I have not been doing every day. I've only been having coffee like occasionally. I'm trying to make myself not need it, although I love it. I just don't want to need it. Speaking of needing though, we will be needing that dough later and I'm so excited to have like a fresh crusty sourdough and I'm just sure it's going to come out a little funky and then it's just going to be another process to perfect that. You guys gave me lots of tips on the popovers. A bunch of you were like, those are called Yorkshire puddings in the UK or England or I'm not exactly sure where, but okay, yes. But I also saw somebody make a Dutch baby pancake and then I saw the comments and they're all like, Dutch people don't even eat that. And it's like, it's just called a Dutch baby. I don't think it was meant to be a Dutch recipe. Anyway, everybody was saying, that's Yorkshire pudding. And I was like, well, which is it? Is it all of it? Is it anything with egg and flour in the oven? Is it Yorkshire pudding? Now I know that I've never had Yorkshire pudding. I had spotted dick. It was totally different. <laughs> When I went to London, I tried to eat everything the Weasleys had ever mentioned in Harry Potter. I didn't do it, and some of it was not super appetizing to me, but I tried. I was wrong. It's not on a Magnolia book. It is a Skinny Taste book, and I know that because the crepes are on the back of the cookbook. This is one of my favorite cookbooks ever. Skinny Taste, like the original cookbook. Um, these are just... Sarah, you crushed your move ring yesterday, yeah. And I'm so sorry, because I did weeds for five hours yesterday. Didn't even, I mean, maybe I'm halfway done technically, but like, holy cow. That weeder is amazing, but you're still gonna feel it. I feel it in my, like, my, just this whole area is like sore, and then my arms and my shoulders. But I had myself a good old time. I was out there listening to Better Than The Movies by Lynn Painter. I got through like almost the whole book. I mean, I still have like 45 minutes left, but I was really enjoying it. It's a YA book. It was like high school age kids. And when I read the description and it was like, oh, they met again 10 years later. And then I don't know if it's in a vlog, but I was like, oh, sick. They met again 10 years later. That's what I'm talking about. I wanna hear from someone in their late 20s, early 30s, mid 30s, late 30s, 40s. Girl, they met in, they were fifth grade. Okay, 10 years later, they were still freaking babies. So I got a little duped there, but, but. I actually thoroughly enjoy it. So, okay, here's Dad's Jam and Grapes. Bloop. 
Super simple, egg whites, egg, canola oil, vanilla, fat-free milk, whole wheat flour, ground cinnamon, cooking oil, or spray. I'm just gonna do whatever I have though. I'm not gonna use all of this. I just need the measurements. One and a third cup, one and three quarters cup of milk, two large egg whites, one large egg, one teaspoon of oil, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one cup of whole wheat flour, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, cooking spray. Cook it up. Okay. It doesn't, it calls for two whites and then one whole egg, so I threw the yolks in a pan. Um, it's about to be a yolky scramble. Crepes, <laughs> crepes are creeping. This one's kind of like, am I a pancake or nah? It's not sure. And then, you want the eggs? And then these are getting a little toasty because I'm over there. Think about the crepes. I'm gonna cut an apple. And then I want Jaden to walk by and take one half bite of the apple and be like, all right, mom, I gotta go. Just take off. And I have like milk and orange juice and I got all kinds of stuff sitting out. Why? Why would he do that? He's not leaving. Because it's the American teenager way. The mom breaks her He's back 11. on breakfast and then they leave. He's 11. Oh, you're right. He's 11. He still eats breakfast. Dang. Nala just had me second guessing myself because she's like, I thought you were gonna fill him with bananas and Nutella and I was like we didn't even have bananas like the whole thing was centered around jam and so I had to make one this thing is delicious I don't know what she's talking about mind you she did eat them but she loves to say that uh I was just hungry <laughs> mm, whatever okay okay I'm sleeping. Will sleep? he was sleeping yeah. I bought this pan forever ago on Amazon whoop so perfect. You guys wanna see me whip up a crepe? It's not the cutest thing you've ever seen, I assure you. Probably a better method. Boom. Oil. I fill a third cup thing. There's definitely a better way to do it. I haven't seen the people who make crepes with the- Yes, the, are you talking about the ones with the little wooden thing? Cause I tried that to like, you know, spread no. it, but this just works better. They have a plate crepe. in front of them. They have a what? They have the hot plate things. Yeah, and then they pour it on there and then they use the wooden thing to flatten it. I don't think it's wooden. Okay, what is it? There's like a little wooden stick. This one came with it and I was like, ah, I'm never gonna use that. Never, ever, ever. So you got rid of it? I don't know where it is. Is my crepe batter a little chunky? But perhaps, but so am I. So what are you gonna do? And it literally takes like two seconds. Like. <laughs> This grape is pretty much done. We did this in real time. Once it's like slippery, then you know it's finished cooking. And then you drop it onto your crepe plate. Crepes are fun. They're fun to fill. They're like a fun way to make a, essentially like a pancake-y kind of flavor. It's lighter and chewier though. Is it lighter though? So many from food. Um, See, I don't know. I don't. It's just your weird mm -hmm. number. And the back phone. Okay, I dropped Nala off. And I'll, maybe I'll show you guys the facility she's training at. It's nice. Um, anyway, I popped over to Meyer. They have a bomb travel size area. Like, I, I've been to this Meyer before, but it's like not my local one. I'm in St. Charles right now. It just made more sense to come here. Look how many freaking. Why is it so big? <laughs> like, and me, I'm over here trying to get away from like buying, you know, this for four dollars and trying to just use like the little, you know, things. But geez Louise, this is a great travel area. I'm gonna have to remember that. But I need some hand soap, and I think this is the one I'm using. But we just ran out, and I swear I had some, but I lost it. It's somewhere in the house. But like I can't, we can't play this game of where's the hand soap. It needs to be in the bathroom. Oh, maybe I'll try this Dove one. Peony and rose oil. This looks pretty. I love Dove. Dove is like a big, a big favorite for me. I forgot they have such a big like makeup and hair section. Um, and then they have Pacifica stuff. And this looks interesting. It smells good. There's Control and Curl Reboot. Obviously, I'm getting this for Nala. Um, not for myself. And then I've been carrying this around. And it's almost empty, but it's so good, you guys. So I'm gonna get uh I'm gonna get two more. Cause I'm sure I'll go through them. And they're on sale. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple of these. These are perfect for my purse. They have even more clothes at this one. I should have brought Nala to this one. 
not I mean she's probably good I don't think she needs any more clothes but if she does oh a bunch of you guys told me to try out the scrub daddy brush cleaner thing for the grills and my other Meyer like doesn't have any scrub daddy stuff if it does I can't find it so I'm gonna look in the grill section because I told you guys I got rid of the bristle brushes uh, but you guys were like y'all you gotta try the scrub daddy brush for the grill because it's so good and I don't see it I don't see it that's okay I guess Traeger just sounds so fun Traeger I like that uh, do you guys have black stones? Every time I see them, I'm like, I got to get me one. And then I remember, you literally don't even use the grill you have. What do you need a black stone for? Let somebody else get it. Dang. They don't have it. Okay, I'm going to look in the regular cleaning supply stuff. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there, right? It's only going to be over here. Dang. I was really hoping I would find it. That's okay. I'll get it online. It's like $50 on Amazon and it's like $25 on the Scrub Daddy website. So I think we know where I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, I just found another grilling aisle. Oh, this is Camp Tools. Frisbees. Y'all be out there frisbeeing. Jeffy took one when we went to Starbucks. Oh, this is a fans. Disc golf. Oh, this is for a uh, froth. Um, yeah, this is for camping. So it probably wouldn't be over here. All right. A little hobo coffee. I think that's what Jason calls it. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> it's like a style of making coffee. <sighs> okay. I don't think I'm going to find it here. That's okay. I have a small list of food that I need to get, but I have to hurry up because it's already 1040 and I got to be out of here by like 1115 and my cart is relatively empty. The store reminds me so much of Target. Like their book section is really good. I just feel like it's super up to date. They always have new stuff. I shouldn't be in this aisle right now, but I just I just had to like show you. There's a bunch, like there's a bunch of aisles. I mean, it reminds me a lot of Target just without like the, the vibe of Target. I don't know how to even describe it. It's, it's a great store though. And they have way more cookbooks. I don't know. I love Target, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love it. I'm only comparing them because I feel like this is, it, it's very, very similar, except I feel like they have a lot more. So I'm pretty sure it's just a Midwest store though. Unless y'all have it and you're somewhere else. I could be wrong. It's happened before. <laughs> well, I was gonna show you Nala at her thing, but I got there a little late. We're actually at Target now. <laughs> Me talking all that junk about Target. Now we're at Target now because, um, Meyer didn't have the scrub daddy stuff and I really want to get the power paste. I, I doubt they're going to have the grill thing here. You got them? Uh, would you mind grabbing me a straw, bro? I really hate these sippy cups. They might. Grab me a straw. I'll walk over there. Um, yeah, so I just picked her up, but they didn't have the power paste either. And that scrub daddy power paste, I know I bought the gel the other day. It's not the same. The power paste is legit. And we didn't run out, but Nala used it for her resin. So now I can't use it on the, uh, I can't use it on the dishes because I'm not trying to like kill us, you know? I'm sur, I mean, I'm not surprised, but I'm just kind of surprised. How cute is this mug? You I don't. I don't need another mug. mug. The one that you got me I know. Christmas. I got now that a really cool cup. It was. It was a mushroom cup. And then it was a mushroom like, cup. Look, cool. this one's mushrooms, but it's not a glass. Nala needs glasses. Um, I'm gonna look for a popover pan. You guys told me that might be my issue. Oh, if you get me this cup, it's really cute and everything. I was, and then I was. <laughs> okay, no, the I'm not buying. Dying. Okay. The cup didn't die. Yes, it the, did. the cup broke. You death breaking. No, the it's same. For, it's the same. I actually I got that cup here, so it's a glass. I got the glass here. Instead of returning the wide mouth lids, oh, it kills me that you walk directly in front of me. I just walk too fast. No, you just walk right where I'm looking every time. <laughs> Did it go down? The drama. I yeah, down? I went down. Anyway, instead of returning the wide mouth lids I bought, I think I should just buy a set of wide mouth jars. These rose ones get me though, man. They're so cute. They're like Mom's a little bit pink. So I what? Mom's yeast is rising so much. Oh, and my sourdough starter. The yeast and something like, wait, is that the jar in? Oh no, this is a good jar. This is a big old jar. Do I need this much sourdough starter? I yeah. feel like 
Oh, why are you convincing oh, me to buy this jar? Today, right? This is a dope jar, bro. You're I'm making it today, right? I'm going home with this jar. I don't know. None of these are wide mouth, right, guys? Does anybody see one? No, right? Nesting, da 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 da. Flute jars, that looks fun. Frascals. Is this the kind with the freaking thing? No. I want the one with the um handle. I'm trying to like drink out of mason jars. I'm moving into my mason jar era and it's cute. <laughs> what, the era? No. Or the jar? <laughs> this is so Mom cute too. I, I know. Aunt Deidre was born into that era. She was born on a farm. She had chickens. Have you ever heard her chicken stories? They're I've freaking heard of all she has some great I know stories. Veda tells me them all the time. Yeah, Deidre's a she's a fun time. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking for jars and then we gotta go because I've had to pee since I was at Meyer and I really gotta go. <laughs> I still believe, still believe. Um, oh, all right, we're back, Jax. We threw threw away, we put away most of what I bought. Um, but at Target, I did get the power paste, which I really love a lot. This one comes with, um, this one comes with a, see how come the other one I was gonna say, did I get the wrong thing? I better not a have. A lot of the stuff wasn't in my coat. It was in my old coat, but then it got changed, but it still got some of my stuff from the old coat. But it didn't pay me, but it didn't charge me for it. So, you know, whoop whoop for me, I guess. It did not charge me for all of these. It only charged me. I didn't have any of these, actually. I took them all off. But, pop off, I guess. Took these off, too. Okay. I think Sorry, they I were on there. They weren't. Can I remember? In the auto, it only has my shorts and my wax kit. Yeah. So okay. Is. So my power paste. The, previously, this the lid was so that you could put them together, and now it's not like that. I don't. That makes me sad. No. That's okay. So anyway, it was ten bucks, and it's really good. It's a really good cleaner. But then I saw they have this, and I was like, oh well, this might be cheaper in the long run for me to just get like an actual um. Because I don't need to get a new scrub bomb here, scrub daddy, every time I, you know, need some paste. So this is a tangerine clean natural cleaning paste with a fresh orange scent. This one is squishy. Uh, so I picked that up because I hadn't seen it previously. And I do like to clean kitchen stuff especially. Oh, I can probably clean the grip. Again, we're back to me needing the grill daddy. <laughs> but anyway, I recently picked up one of these um, spongy scrubber things for the kids. Because they're both like, eh, touch the sponge and they like you they use the sponge like this see how my fingers are real good scrubbing that happens okay get over it i don't like taxes but i pay them you know what i mean okay trust me if we're picking between paying taxes and dishes grow up and then you'll know what the right option is <laughs> anyway so i got the dish daddy one so this one i, I do like because you can sit it up and it'll stand but it just you know it fills with so we have this one which is just it's a little crusty this one was like four bucks this one was like seven or nine or something like that eight six i don't remember but um it's just i think gonna be a superior brush any hoodly doodly oh and then i picked up a book praise by sarah kate i thought this was a different book um and then i realized it's not the book i thought it was i thought it was the one with the priest in it if you guys know what i'm talking about this is not that one, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll be great. And then, well, I'm not sure it'll be great, actually. I don't know why I said that. I have no idea how it's gonna be. Don't, don't, don't look at me for that. And then Target had a popover pan. And look how deep they are. Like, you already know I gotta make popovers tomorrow. Oh, that's cute. I wish it wasn't so thin. Okay, can I show Nala placed a, she placed a she in order with her own monies. Mm -hmm. And they gave me um, extra stuff. Let's see it. This is one of the button ups. It's closed completely. It's it's very thin. Um, Wait, I'm keeping it close so they can't see the logo on my jersey. Yeah, no, I, they've okay. already seen that. Oh. But anyways, it's really cute. This is like one out of the five or six I got. You have to watch a league of their own because you would I know, really appreciate I've seen it. The you should watch it. But anyways, I got I saw this and I was like, it even said Chicago. I mean. So you are, and I wanted a jersey. I mean, so. Did you just love the the 
the vibes from Nala. She's just such a good time. Um, yeah, okay, so I got a popover pan. I think it was like 15 bucks. So you already know I'm making popovers tomorrow. It's a done deal. Uh, and today? You're making bread. No, today I'm making the sourdough. Actually, I should start on that like ASAP. And then I think I'm making steak and potatoes, a roast situation for dinner with some carrots. Me and Jay are really gonna go in on that. This is another one. It's really cute. It's like, if you look in close, it has frogs and it has like mushrooms and, wait, can you see? It has mushrooms, that's not mushrooms. You just back up slightly. There it you go. It has mushrooms and lily pads and that's a flower and then this is a rainbow. It's giving aesthetic ooh ah, if you know what I mean. If you know what she means, aesthetic ooh ah. You probably don't because I'm involved in you half the time. <laughs> What? When I say aesthetic you are, I don't know what that means either, but aesthetic you are, I guess. It's just giving elite vibes. Aesthetic you are. <coughs> Mom's choking yeah. the end of you. Oh. I'm gonna clean this when I use it. For now, it's just gonna go up top because I don't have the energy. <laughs> Through all my jokes. I gotta organize that one day. It's giving. It has, um... What's it giving? It's giving Zach like, Morris, but, like... I don't know who Zach Morris 70s. is. This is giving 70s Zach Morris vibes to I don't me. know who... Oh, Saved by the Bell, right? Yeah. It's kind of big. Is he from Saved by the Bell? It's, yeah. It's because they didn't have my size normal, so I got the smallest plus size. Oh, that's why it's big. That's why it's big. <laughs> okay. But I like them big. It's time to make our sourdough bread. It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time. Hey! Oh, I was like, where's my little piece of garbage to mark it? Somewhere else. Sourdough everything. Sourdough, sourdough, sourdough. Mom, you should My man, my man, my man. What? You should just tell me what to do when I make it. You want to make it? I just feel like for the first one, I should be involved. You can make some popovers. Wait, we're going to make stew tonight. Tomorrow, popover baby. You're going to be a popover baby tomorrow. We're doing stew. Wait, and no. I'm, I can't even read, y'all. A stew for me and... Jaden, perhaps Lewis, probably not. Probably not the girl, if I'm being honest. But yesterday I made pasta, our favorite way to make pasta. When you just cook it in broth, you don't boil it, you just cook it in broth little by little. And you add a bouillon to it, like bouillon. Well, we add better than bouillon, and I like to do the garlic one. It's better than bouillon. It is better than bouillon. It's so good. That's it. Like normally we're, you know, we do pasta and we're doing, you know, butter pasta and we're adding whatever seasonings and stuff. But with that, it's literally cooking it in broth little by little, slow and steady. And then you add the bouillon you, and it, it makes the noodle, which is still dry at the end. It's still like a dry noodle, basically. It makes it so incredibly flavorful. It's just, cr it's crazy good. We love doing it that way. I originally started doing it that way because I think in an Aisha Curry book, was it Aisha Curry? No, I think it was a Tia Maori book. She did a mac and cheese that way. She ended up with a bunch of cheese and stuff though. So I was like, wait, what now? I think it was Tia Maori. I'm not sure. Anyway, it was delicious. And now, right, because Jay's not heavy on mac and cheese, I believe. And mac and cheese gives Nala the BGs. So we. Period. Okay, weigh the ripe culture into a large bowl, add the flowers and water, mix the ingredients until the flowers moisten. The dough has formed a cohesive mass. Got the juicy mouth right now. Add extra water as necessary. Dough should feel soft and tacky. Shouldn't be batter, but it should be quite soft. Cover the dough, let it rest for 20. Knead in the salt, transfer dough. Place the dough back in the bowl, cover, let rise one and a half to two hours. That means I definitely need to get started on this ASAP. Ahorita. Let's do it. Let's weigh. Couldn't see it, sorry. Let's weigh our culture. Look at it. It is so bubbly. So lovely. Look. It's alive. It's alive. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was gonna call you guys gays. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, some of you, what am I saying now? <laughs> some of you might be gay. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about though. What am I trying to say? Oh, okay. On day like four or 
five or six, I started getting a little nervous because it wasn't, it wasn't doing its thing. And I was like, what's going on? And then I just chucked a little bit more than usual, slightly more, and then I added back a little bit more than I would have normally. And I gave it a fresh jar and it, it bubbled right back up. So I thought I was losing her on day five or six, but here we are, day 15 or 16. And she is ready. This is just what I'm using for the sourdough. I have my original like starter over there. All right, we have moved on to the two hour rising portion of this. It's a little, it's a little tricky for me because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm not filming the actual process. Look at my cheeks getting all pink because I'm embarrassed that I don't know how to make sourdough. So we're gonna see how it goes and then I'll let you know if it if if it went well or not because i think i don't know like when the dough is kneaded well enough i don't know like i don't fully understand the texture things and there's a lot of referencing like other pages and other methods and the wet dough method and don't forget to do this method and go to page 53 and go to page 25 but then go to page 24 and then whatever so there's like a lot of information which is why i like the book so much but i don't totally know what i'm doing so uh, this part takes two hours and then I think I like shape it and then we got another one to two hours. So this is going to be ready. It's 2.40, probably around 7, which is probably about the time I'll have dinner ready too. So I think it'll, it'll, I, I think it's going to be great. That's the energy I'm going to take into this sourdough. <laughs> Hoping for the best came inside from weeding um i went outside to, to water one plant because i could see it from my office window and it was dying needed water but anyway fast forward about two hours and uh i got a lot of other yard work done i feel like it's just like one thing leads to another and then don't let me get a hose in my hand a hose with some reach of course of course i'm gonna clean the garage floor of course i'm gonna start then cleaning the car off while it's in the garage which is a horrible idea of course of course of course so my sourdough at almost seven o'clock at night is finally ready to go into the oven it says to heat it with steam to cook it with steam so it refers you to the steaming section of the book and place a baking stone in the middle we're using a dutch oven at least 30 minutes before baking preheat the oven to 500 okay well then I guess we have at least another 30 minutes to go. Uh, when the bread is ready to bake, place it on a peel or lined parchment paper inside of there. Okay, so I haven't looked at my loaf, but just judging by, judging by the fact that it's domed, I'm guessing she rose quite a bit. She did. She has risen and I am very excited. Um, how exciting, bro. I need to score it. I did buy, this is part of that like little bread kit I think that I had shown you guys. It came with like the chop and scoop thing. This came into handy. And then it comes with this thing and this, which I believe is a bunch of razor blades. And then, oh, it does have a little cover. That's the only reason I didn't put the razor blade on because I was like, I don't need this floating around with no cover on it. Oh, okay. And then it gives you a whole bunch of razor blades wrapped all perfectly in a little thing. Oh, this is actually adorable. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how to put this on here. I don't know what I'm, I don't, I don't know how to do it. Did I do that wrong? If, if y'all know whether or not I did that wrong, please let me know. I'm gonna use this today and I'm gonna put it away. And if I did it wrong, let me know. Cause uh, I'm very confused. Anyway, I'm supposed to score it four score and seven years ago. I really hope this comes out because what a labor of love making this sourdough has been. I'm gonna love it no matter what. It's like when you cook a baby. It's been in there long enough. You cook babies? You love that baby. Doesn't matter if the scoring came out a little funky. That's your baby. You're gonna eat that baby. Four score and seven years ago. We did reschedule the beef stew to tomorrow because turns out beef stew takes a long time to cook and I would either need the Dutch oven or the slow cooker, which would slow the process down, but the Dutch ovens, it's going into the oven with the bread. So it's fine. Tomorrow we'll have the bread and the Dutch oven will be available. Although tomorrow then we won't need it because I'll be using a crock pot. So Jaden just made himself dinner. Oh, he left a sausage in here. My sausage. I gotta show you guys the bread. It just came out of the oven. I kind of like the vibe better with the light off. So I made it in this. And there it is. So 
in a bit. Got pretty crispy on top. Now, obviously, I haven't cut into it yet. <laughs> this is pretty hard on top. Huh? Yeah, once I cut it. Just, I'm going to let it rest for a little bit before I cut it. This is so exciting. This thing is huge. I'm so excited! <sighs> what if it's terrible? No, I'm not going to say that. What if it's amazing? It's a lot of effort. There's probably easier ways to do it, but it's a lot of effort. <laughs> Alright, here was our moment of truth. It's been about an hour. I'll be the first taste test though. <laughs> it's been about an hour. I got out my favorite bread knife. It's really nice. I, I keep this away from all the other knives. So it's not contaminated with their uncoolness. Uh, I got it uh, I got it with a reward from Crate and Barrel. <laughs> so I really like it. Anyway, it's so warm, but it's not hot anymore. It's been an hour, so I feel like that's probably long enough. Mmm, she smells pretty sour. Just like that. Can you believe I made this? Can you believe this took me 16 days? <laughs> Plus like a bunch of owls, but... Can I show them your hair? I love Nala's hair. Come on! Oh, I like it. I'm obsessed with it. It's I just a naturally air dried with like no it. product. This is what my hair looks like. If I shower, it's so pretty. And then I let it air dry without touching <laughs> it at all. It's poofy. <laughs> it's pretty. It's so poofy. It come off like my whole head. I want a piece of bread. I didn't try it yet. With butter? Yeah. It tastes like bread. Yes. Good job. Thanks. Thanks, daughter. It tastes not mush or anything. It doesn't taste it's like, it does not have crunchy edges left. Isn't that the point? It yeah. does. What do you mean? You're just going to get a piece with really crunchy edges. No, it's not about it being crunchy, though. Marley it's about it having that sour kind of taste to it. All right, I'm going to just finish cutting this, oh, and then I'm going to have a nice slice with butter and jam. 